We're back, and welcome to a spooktacular Halloween special. Boy, that was a vampire accent. No, that was my Adam Sandler accent, actually. Boy, boy, boy. Okay, uh, we're back from our somewhat long hiatus. One that was month. Dev- okay, month. so one month to the day. Something like that. No, I'm probably, I'm probably. One month to the day, I was called a, a pumpkin head. <laughs> oh. You. These scars don't heal. Bleeding heart liberal. <sighs> Libtard. <laughs> Liberalism is a mental disorder, Bailey. Of course. Okay, so we're let's talk about some of the changes we've made to our podcast. Um. Uh, first of all, uh, SoundCloud is bleeding us dry, and that's why our first episode isn't up. There's a limit on how many minutes you can post. We're it's looking into YouTube. We are looking into YouTube. That's a possibility, but it's still like a weird thing. Um, we might try to focus our thing on YouTube music. Then for maybe like the one person that has YouTube read, they can actually download it. Whatever. But for the time being, there should be at least the like latest two episodes up on iTunes and SoundCloud. So basically just appreciate us fast because you never yeah. know when something's going to be good. Yeah. Live your life, you know? Okay, so a new thing, because we don't want to talk about nothing and then Nazis and then more nothing for and then an more hour Nazis. and a half. And then more Nazis. Um, we have a structure. But, well, we're, and we hope we have a structure. We have a list here of some topics we want to talk about. Um, and then we're probably going to do more movie reviews uh, once it comes to that, um, because we only have so many things to say. <laughs> and uh, we're going to... Can you uh, fiddle that, please? You're the fiddler. How about that? Okay. Fiddler on the chair. The um. Yeah, so Thor Ragnarok comes out. We're going to see it this Friday. Uh, Bailey has definitely agreed to it, 100%. Um, I mean, you bought the ticket, so I, I really can't back out. I mean, I appreciate that zeal you have there, pal. <laughs> so, yeah, we have a list of topics that's, like, kind of from our normal conversations that we're just... We're having, sharing with the world yeah because we think we're special of course that's why we're not quite millennials i just remember the name of our podcast hey okay so that's pretty much it first topic we have horror movies not horror movies horror movies <laughs> uh we're having a bit of a marathon of uh, horror movies of horror movies quick bailey name a horror movie Spy Kids 2. I love Spy Kids 2. That's the one where We're they already have, like, getting off track. <laughs> the numbers on their chest, right? Or is that Spy Kids 3? That's Spy Kids 3. Oh, I love that one. Spy Kids 3 Game Over, I think it's called. Yeah, that yeah. was a good movie. Okay, well, horror movies. What have we seen so far, Bailey? We have seen Alien. The one with the How chest. How did you feel season. about that? I didn't really like it. What? Yeah, uh, it's slow. Oh, it's it's from a different time, yeah. Yeah. I enjoy it. We watched Scream. Scream. Oh my god, guys, I loved Scream so much. Scream's a good movie. So good. I enjoyed it so much. It was predictable. See? I think I might have seen it, like, while I was, like, half asleep on a couch. Also as possible. Um, because I definitely knew the ending, like, halfway through. <laughs> or maybe that's just how all 90s horror movies are. Maybe that was, like, supposed to be the joke, that it was, like, super predictable. Because it was, like, a commentary on slashers. Wes Craven's pretty cool, huh? And what else have we seen? We saw Evil Dead Two, which Evil Dead Two was pretty good, I thought. Yeah, I I remember it being like more comedy, but apparently not. However, um, speaking of comedies, we also watched What We Do in the Shadows. That is a true statement. That is a comedy, <laughs> um, directed by Taika Waititi. Ha 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 funny New Zealand man (laughs) who is also directing Thor Ragnarok and um so it's just one big circle it's one big circle everything's a circle man and death let's see do you think death is also a circle or is it like more of a trapezoid maybe it's a separate circle do you think so or maybe it's like the Olympics and they all oh they're all like a little intertwined and then when life what are the other three pizza pizza Movies. Movies. Okay, so there's life, death, pizza, movies. And everything else. Yeah. 
I'd, I'd go with that. I like how everything else is just like everything else has to be important. So how about it's it's the middle ring that sure. both of the it's the purgatory ring. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm willing to to go with that. Uh, okay. So first topic, we've pretty much gone through that. <laughs> except. Oh wait, yeah, Bailey, how'd you feel about what we do in the shadows? I thought good. it was really funny. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I was kind of sad when that guy died. I was like, no, I relate. Well, oh yeah, you are the what, Jim, not Jim. Stu. 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 I think his name was Stu. There's nothing taboo about this sex Stu. I don't understand. Cause my sex junk goes uh uh oh. <laughs> That's nope. the Bill Nye uh, vagina song. Oh, Bill Nye sing. Oh, no, not Bill Nye. The crazy ex-girlfriend. Girl. Oh, yeah, that's not the surprising. Uh, yeah, that was the video I was watching in bio. The most exciting class. Hmm. Yeah. What oh. exciting class? Oh, bio. <sighs> Norma J. Do we want to name drop? Yeah, it's fine. Norma J. Great lady. Honest. She reminds me of my aunt Nancy. <laughs> she wears like the same glasses I'm sure they're both not able to fly after 9-11 <laughs> um, yeah what my uh, aunt Nancy is scared of flying since 9-11 that's 16 years yeah of non-flying yeah. that's kind of sad yeah she and I think that was also around the time that her husband died it's a whole thing you don't need to know about my family when you fuck off hey uh, fiddler I'm the fiddler on the roof. Okay, so Bailey is about to talk about a thing that's very important to him, and that's Halloween Town, and to oh. a lesser extent, Halloween Town Two: Calabar's Revenge, Not and a to a extent. much lesser extent, Halloween Town <laughs> Three: Halloween Town High. And you can stop there because um, no one talks. Don't. Which even, is don't. a forced metaphor for integration of schools. The third one is the last one. And then, of the course, there's the Halloween one. Town 4, Marnie goes to college, <laughs> but it's and then not suddenly Marnie. Marnie got weird and attractive, and it wasn't Marnie. It was a little body swap movie that was, like, in between, but we didn't see that. So. Freaky Friday. But everyone else was the same. Everyone Everything else. else was everyone. Everyone. Except for most people. No. They even got Demi Reynolds back, huh? Yeah, and the mom, and the brother. And the sister? I think so sister? for like a little scene, like a tiny little cameo. Oh yeah, maybe. Okay, Bailey, why don't you excite me with your knowledge? Halloween Town was a Disney original movie. Pretty Disney sure. Disney Channel. Disney Channel. From 1999, I think. Somewhere around there. Might have even been 90, uh, 98. Mm, I don't want to accept that. Okay. And it's a great movie about a, a young witch who's coming of age. Named Marnie McFly. <laughs> you don't get that because you haven't seen Back to the Future. I understand. The guy's uh, name no, is guys, he hasn't seen Back to the Future. What a loser. There's no point seeing Back to the Future now. What are you talking about? The Back whole point, to the future. Most of the time they went to the past, so like, it doesn't matter. The one time they went to the future, it also happens to be the past for us. That doesn't matter. Then why is it called Back to the Future? Because the future for Marty was 1985. So, and he goes to 1955 to fuck his mom. Um, yeah. That was a weird movie. I think Robert Zemeckis might have had a bit of an Oedipus complex. So Explain, por favor. Uh, about what... I, that your, was pretty self-explanatory. Oedipus. Oedipus. That's because he directed the movie and also helped write it. I don't know what that means. It means you want to fuck your mom and you, like kill your dad, as in the tragedy of Oedipus. Oh. That's okay. like a pretty well-known thing. That's like Sigmund Freud's go-to, even though he's been widely uh, discredited. Sigmund Freud. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> give me a little plot of. Of Halloween Town. All right, movie one. Just movie one. Mar yeah. No, starting with movie one. Bailey, Mar if you want to have a special on Mar Halloween Town. Marnie's mother refuses to accept that she's a witch. You know, interesting family dynamic. 
she, and then she like she gave up her powers so she she's... grabs the chicken and she puts it in the bowl and then yes, and then debbie the reynolds chicken. is like ha it's alive now and then there's you know flying cookies and uh, all that stuff oh yeah that little girl is 11 from stranger things Mm, are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Because I'm pretty sure she'd be like 20 by now. No, I'm not I'm Not saying actually. She has the same powers. Oh. I, I want to see someone make like an edit. Fan like theory. a gif. Oh. Of just, yes, a gif. Everybody, fight me. A gif. Um, Technically, okay. Yeah, I know the, the guy, the creator was like, it's, it's GIF. GIF. And I was like, you know what, shut the fuck up. You GIF is a peanut butter. I don't even eat GIF peanut butter. But he named it because of the peanut butter, so you can't... Well, he spelt like, it a different way, so he doesn't get the right to, to pronounce to, it the same way. Yes, he does. He can... If you look at English language conventions, it would be GIF. That's just, like, English language like, look changes at the, for everything. No, though. look at the word... Look at the name Gideon. G-I, and then a uh, consonant. Okay. Gideon. Not Gideon. Maybe it is Gideon. <sighs> and Edward Bartholomew is just stupid. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, so we got Marnie. Um, yeah, so she goes to Halloween Town basically. She becomes a. Oh, witch. yeah, her mom wouldn't let her go out on Halloween, and then she's like, I'm yeah, 13, I'm practically strange. an adult. Yeah, and she's like, I have a party to go to. And she was wearing the, like, the stupidest costume, in air quotes. Ever? Cost. It was like a weird outfit. Didn't yeah. the brother get dressed up as a werewolf? Uh, no, he was a goblin with a big old badonkadonk. Badonkadonk. Fiddle, please. You can okay. move that speaker if it makes it easier it's, for you to fiddle. It's fine. So yeah, they go to Halloween Town. Um, <laughs> there's like a big evil. Everyone's dying in the movie theater, which yeah, is yeah. He like paralyzes them and then takes their spirits or mm -hmm. something kind of sad kind of yep spoiler alert for a movie that's older than every listener right now and then uh it was the mayor all along Shh, i like to forget that every year and then i'm re-shocked and then you're like whoa it was the, the guy that was clearly the villain we is didn't the villain. know that he was like He's sophie the villain. you want a lollipop and then he takes her to the back and gives her a, a lollipop like no, beth no. from the walking dead Beth is coming back this year. Did no, you know she's that? not. Yeah. No, she, she's going to come back from the dead. Here's a spoiler. Morales is coming back this week's episode. I don't know who that is. Okay. Well, Miles remember. Morales, Spider-Man. <gasps> Do you want an actual Walking Dead spoiler that's, like, pretty good? Yeah, fine. Go ahead. There is a rumor, but from a credible source. Whoa. That, drumroll. Yep. Carl's gonna die in the mid-season finale. I'm okay with that. I don't care. <laughs> oh, that's a pretty, oh, pretty big deal. You know what? That is a big deal, and I hope you yeah. have some fun. Could you uh, talk into your mic, please? Sorry, <laughs> I was about to sneeze, so I didn't want to like. Oh, okay. Well, if you need to sneeze, you just give me a little applesauce. Uh, uh, uh. You know? I'm better now. So yeah, Halloween Town too. Like the kids or the guy's son comes back. Yeah. He looks like a uh, not Paul McCartney. Who was the mid two thousands guy that had the last name McCartney? It wasn't Paul McCartney again, was it? Joe McCartney. Joe Joel McCartney. Joel. Something like that. He looks like him. Oh, Jesse. Jesse McCartney. Yes. Yes. I don't want your love to go to waste. Sure. I want okay. You and we don't have to do a recap of all of them. Soul. Okay, so that's basically it. All of Halloween Town turns gray, which is like not fun but it is fun because they meet that old guy in like the in the like order house yeah. yeah oh my that's like one of the only things i remember from that i remember does she go back in time in that one yes no oh no wait that's the yeah. fourth one no yeah that's the fourth one i'm yeah. thinking of the fourth one <laughs> then you can stop thinking of the fourth one because we're not you're gonna talk about like it the fourth one huh? no because they need to stop no it's so dumb she the girl from the fourth one looks like the girl from gilmore girls not the mom, but the daughter. She's like a famous, isn't she? I think she's, she's a famous. She's more famous than like the other one, who is like an unknown actor. We can talk about the third one though, because that's like the most interesting one to talk about. Yeah, who, who is in that writer's room? You know. <laughs> Basically, 
they, you know, they feel discriminated against because they're monsters. Integration of schools. It's the if there's <laughs> there might actually be nine nine people in that, and if there is, I think there was. Yeah, Little Rock Nine. Yeah. Oh my God, that is so bad. There's the fairy. There was the goblin. Gross! You're all gross and pink. <laughs> yeah, well, you're a gross human. <laughs> so, so bad. And then they broke up. They never even like recorded. They never. Oh. Which, I mean, that's more realistic. But also, none of it should be realistic. It's Halloween Town. But it Why wasn't. Did they... It was Earth. It and was Earth. That Earth is but what Earth. about that little pocket dimension in the locker? Like, was that technically in Halloween Town? That Cause, was Because Halloween just, Town is a different dimension, that right? That was a hideout. But, like, it was a different dimension. It's like how Grandma Aggie has, like, a Hermione Granger bag. Yeah. Like, she, it's, like, endless, right? And then she pours a bunch of candy in there. Well, the thing is alive. That's all I yeah. know. So it's like it's a like living bur- pocket dimension? It ate a bird. It killed a bird. I remember. I recall. That's so sad. Aw, rip. Oh, do you Aggie. remember when... Yeah. Do you remember when... That scene where she's, like, teaching? Yeah. And it's, like, chemistry. She becomes a chemistry teacher. She's fucking real weird. That was a great movie. Who's that? Is that my mom? Fuck. ruh ro raggy ruh ro raggy TBC. Okay, um, you want to go to the next topic? Sure. Next topic is Colby tried pumpkin spice. No, it's not. Class ranks. Where are you? <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> Whoops. No, I okay. read Halloween and then. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> class ranks. So, Fiddler. Um, I need you to be kind of glancing over there. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, Bailey. You've messed Whoops. up. Um,. Okay, so class ranks are stupid because I'm not number one. But I also don't care, but I kind of care because I have to hear about it. From a lot of people. From especially Carly Safe. What did Carly Safe get? Oh my god, we need to stop calling people out. And by we, I mean me. <laughs> what did... <laughs> I just, it's so annoying. What'd she get? Like, she's like, Two. I'm going to retake it. I got a 99. That's like... Oh. Like, you don't need to prove that you're smart. It's fine. A 99 is smart, though. It's just annoying, though. And then she's like, "I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna sue, um, the my driver's ed teacher because he didn't teach that, so I got a 97." It's like Harley, like she's gonna sue him for that. Like, and everyone's like entertained her because, like, yeah, sure, we should encourage people to try. Well, I mean, maybe we shouldn't. Whatever. But maybe like, oh should. my god. Might be overboard, but I mean, I don't wanna talk about a fellow member of the council like that. I'm not a parent, but like, god damn. It's just so unnecessary. <sighs> okay. Class ranks. Class so ranks. I'm 39. Yeah, I'm 103 because I stopped trying in the middle of last year. I took geometry, so that's... Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty that's much all we got for that. Ma, shush. Home. Did you just say baby's home? No, I said yes, baby's home. Yes, you did. You home. definitely said baby's, baby's home. home. Yeah, whatever you say. What? I did. Like that hmm? movie. Hmm? There's a movie. Daddy's home. Daddy's home? Oh, with Mel Gibson, a claimed anti-Semite. <laughs> okay, so actually let's skip over that topic because my mom is here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Halloween as a subject, as a whole, as a whole, how do you feel about it? Spooky. spooky. This is spooktacular. This is the spooktacular. Let's um, add a little blah. blah. We could do the whole uh, accents. That's my uh. Okay. <laughs> that's I'm not burning. What? <laughs> okay, so Christmas. We're, we're trying to record. Oh, you are. Well, shut your door. Fine, shut my door. <laughs> okay, freshman fuck boys. <laughs> I it's Halloween so is good. Just a cover. <laughs> it's so good. Like, so we're in freshman P. You really love calling it freshman P, don't you? Well, cause what am I gonna say? Like, that's what the class is known by. You know. Um. Okay. What do you call it? Just gym. Yeah. That's actually really gross, Bailey. A lot of people just call it gym. Yeah, freshmen call it gym. No. 
the five sophomores in the class besides you call it gym? The teachers call it freshman P or freshman gym, whichever one. Either way, it's whatever. It, the, it's called. Five and I don't call it gym because I like have to go to the gym, and then why use the same word for two things? The English language is sucky. Okay, so there's this specific kid <laughs> in our class. He has really high hair. It's so good. It's r- so high. It's amazing. Like, there's a song, She's So High, like, that's his hair personified. I think that, like, you know how people dress up in, like, weird 80s things? Mm-hmm. Like, leg warmers, and then they do He's crazy hair? He's constantly doing that. No, well, yeah. But I think in 30 years, people are going to dress up like him, and they're going to think we all dressed like this kid. That's oh. my theory. That's sad. Mm-hmm. So, like, on <laughs> 2010 days, I was going to have awful oh. hair. Yeah. I mean, and he wore this sweatshirt. <laughs> he looks no, it like... Was pants. Wasn't it pants? No, it was a sweatshirt, and that was what was funny. Oh. So, it was, like, this long shirt that was also, like, kind of a sweatshirt, but it w- there was no hood. It wasn't a hoodie. And it was like a thin sweatshirt it was material. Like a weird thing. And I don't know where he gets his clothes. I want to well, know. He's new, so maybe I, I, I want to burn that store down. Maybe from wherever he came from. Oh yeah, and he has a Supreme backpack, <laughs> which that looks so stupid. But on that sweatshirt, there were pockets. Yeah. No. Okay. So, and on the side, the bottom sides of the sweatshirt, there's zippers. <laughs> For no reason, and they actually work because he had them unzipped, and it was like a little... Ugh. Well, why wouldn't they work? Because there's such thing as zippers for show. Like, that's like a... Like a thing. It's like edgy mm. to have non-working zippers. No, it's not. It's well, the zippers and shit, have you ever played Kingdom Hearts? You haven't, but... I watched you play you I watched you... <laughs> watch watch cutscenes. Cut they all had zippers and shit. Did they? No, um, because that was, like, a weird thing that wasn't really Kingdom Hearts. Okay. It was more, um, like, m- m- Donald and Goofy, they have zippers all over their shirt for no reason. Like, Donald on his cap just has a zipper there. No, like, right sometimes right you just gotta keep some stuff inside you. No, your... it's, it's just for show. It's not for <laughs> show. It's for show. Okay, so, fresh and fuck boys, oh boy, keep, keep living. <laughs> Do what you're doing, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay, get a haircut. You're not affecting me. Oh, wait, you weren't the one that told me. It was Brian. Um, Mr. Sachs saw some freshman kid vaping in the hallway. Oh. And he goes in and he's like, why the fuck are you smoking? <laughs> he got super mad and the freshman was like, I swear, this is my first time. And he was like crying and then Mr. <laughs> Sachs took the the Juno, Oh. threw it in the trash, like this 100, Don't like care. $150 Juno. Just threw it in the trash, and then, like, the day later, he was asking his class about vaping and what's that all about. <laughs> oh, so good. The okay. kid just breaks down crap. Why do so many of them vape? Like, I, they think it's cool, I guess. Maybe you see, like, all the teachers in Woodbury vaping, and they're like, <laughs> I want to be just like the teachers. <laughs> <sighs> oh, my God. Mine, not right now! You know! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That sound. The one time she decides to clean anything, it's. Oh my god. That sound is a spooky <laughs> sound effect. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, quick, do your your zombie impression. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Brains. Yummy. Here's my Frankenstein impression. Bleh. Bleh. <laughs> Here's my, uh, my invisible man impression. Bleh. <laughs> Here's my, uh... No, wouldn't he just not talk? Because he's invisible? <laughs> <laughs> That's not how that works, baby. Yeah. Right. Not being able to see someone doesn't mean that you can't hear them. Right, but isn't he, like, trying to be all, like, you know, stealthy or something? Oh, my God. <laughs> like he doesn't want to be spotted. <laughs> He doesn't want to be found. <laughs> Someone could throw a sheet over him and then they would see there's a person there. Oh no. Are they going to do that by sound? Yeah. Like, <laughs> if you hear him walking, you could, like, take your coat off and throw it at the air. And if it lands on him, boom. Invisible man. 
Oh boy. Okay. Halloween. Spooky. Let's go trick or treating and be rejected by every house on the block. I haven't been trick or treating since. Oh, 12. Grade 12, yeah. No, o- I, mean, I, I meant like the year 012 because I'm. That still vampire. would have been fifth grade. It was Halloween in fifth grade. Yeah, I mean, fifth grade was the last time I went trick or treating. Yeah. Well, I had to still go trick or treating from. Which one call it? To bring my cousins out, and then I'd have my um my bag, but normally the people wouldn't put candy in it. So I'm just That's like, yeah, depressing. whatever, I'll steal some from my cousins. Oh. But just the Twix, don't worry. My mom bought one bag of Kit Kats, and she thought that was enough for all. Your was, house is going to get egged. I was like, no, Mom, you need to buy more. And she was like, well, you need to not give two pieces. And I said, oh, that's not going to happen. Yeah, your so, house is getting egged. We didn't even decorate this year. So sad. Oh, yeah, you're normally a decorating boy. Yeah, I know. That's they didn't let me take out any of the bins. I was yeah, like, my house never gets decorated. We have, like, all these skeletons. We have this <laughs> these candles that are supposedly bones, but the top is burned off, so <laughs> they just kind of look like butts on the bottom. You good, pal. <laughs> and I didn't get to take out the butt candles this year, so kind of sad. You know, I'm, that's really sad, baby. I know. I feel bad for you. I do, too. I pity you. Me, too. <laughs> Fiddly dee dee, I smell the blood of some Halloweenies. Whoa, and another car is pulling into the driveway. What a great time. I'm glad we started this podcast right before we get a full house of noisy, noisy people. Noisy, noisy. Okay. What do you do for Halloween? Uh, last year I chilled and handed out candy, but everyone caught, thought I was weird. And I was a Christmas tree last year, <laughs> but it didn't really work out all that well. I remember that. I had to be attached to an extension cable because I didn't have a battery pack. And so I just kind of sat there with a blanket on me, <laughs> not being warmed up by the Christmas lights as I thought I would be. Um, Did I tell you what happened last year? What happened last year, Bailey? So. You probably have, but what happened last I year, I ran Bailey? out of candy. Of course. But there was, like, this little girl already walking down my driveway. And I thought it would be so douchey to, like, turn the light off as she's halfway down my driveway. So. Your driveway isn't this long, by the way. No. So, like, she's walked she, five like, feet. Like, I can see the girl's face. And she's, like, this little Elsa, I think. And An original costume. So, she comes up to the door, and her mom's, like, not even, like, coming into the driveway. Like, the little girl sprinted ahead. And <laughs> so, I'm like, oh, let me go check upstairs. And even then though you I, went inside no, and turned the lights off. Even up. though I knew there was no candy, I was like, maybe I'll find some money. So, I started, like, frantically looking for money. And then the girl's mother came up to the door because the girl was just standing there and she started knocking like, hello. And then I was like, oh my God, no. So I come back downstairs and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. We don't have any candy. And the girl started bawling her eyes out. So the mom took her and she like walked away and I was just like, happy Halloween. And I shut the light off. It was really sad. <laughs> that, that's some more sitcom shit. It was so sad. I felt so bad. I even asked my sister for money. I was like, do you have any cash on you? I need it like, now. like, no. No, she told me to get out of her room. <laughs> I was like, no. Get the fuck out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft. Honestly, I should have just shut the lights out and hid. <laughs> Scared of a two-year-old girl? I just didn't want to hurt her feelings. And well, you she did. She uh, balled her eyes her out. Her Halloween was ruined. No, I bet you by the next door she was back like <laughs> She, like, she was, like, maybe had a tear in her eye, and then they're like, you know what, you can have the whole bowl of candy. She's <laughs> just like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like that sassy girl from Facebook videos. Never. That's all I'm going to say. Facebook. Never. Facebook is trash. I downloaded the app. I'm not making an account. Okay, let's talk about Starbucks, Bailey. That's what it's called, right? Starbucks? I think that's what it's called. Starbucks? It sounds weird. Starbucks sounds weird. Starbucks? Are it's right li- there. Yes, it's called Starbucks. Are what a you stupid in name. The Mandela effects. Sounds like a shitty like video game currency. You've known the word Starbucks for many years. Now. Yes, I. It. Because uh, I had to write it down. That's why it, it looks weird. Whatever. Starbucks. Wow. That, Stars and Bucks. No, I think there was like like a guy named Jonathan Starbuck. 
the buckiest of the Okay, size. Bailey, how was your first experience? We went to the mall uh, two weeks ago. It was raining. You beat me. Um, I wore my lime shirt, so it would have been two weeks ago. Okay. Bailey made a big old deal of it. I like the lime shirt. Not a fan of the lime shirt. It's a great lime shirt. Hey, um, buy a raffle ticket. I'll sign my lime shirt. <gasps> yeah, buy a raffle ticket. Um, Not for you, though. Oh, no. Um, so, wait, is that raffle still going on? Yeah, we got a fundraiser November 28th through December 3rd, or however that week works out. So, yeah. Uh, no one's going to be... Oh, wait, no. Buy a raffle ticket. Thanksgiving is, like, super early this year. It's, like, the 24th or something. Oh, then maybe it's the 30th. Wait a second. It's something around then. Just buy a raffle ticket. Wait, no, it can't be the... I think it might be the 25th, because... Well... It's the 4th... Thursday, right? One of us could look it up, but I'm not going to. So that would uh, have to you, be. You can get up and look at that uh, calendar. You can just flip it up on that stack of books and tissues. Nope. Why would you think that? <laughs> it is on the 23rd. Oh, hey. So That's we right. We'll be selling this week, the 27th through. To so the December, December 3rd, which the is. The first. The first? Oh, okay. Wow, that's like late. It's going to become a Christmas style fundraiser. Oh, okay. How much uh, for raffle tickets? Uh, it's Can one, I buy like one for 20 two. for 10? It's one for two. One for or, two. So oh. They're 50 cents. Oh, okay. Can I get um, 50 for 15? You can get 50 for 50 times 50 cents. That's $25. 25 dollars, but yeah. I'm not getting a discount on those? No. No because it gets too confusing. Yeah, they no, will. It's not going to. Oh, but we also, instead of having five gift cards and like yeah. having pretty low amounts, we decided to focus on three gift cards and give them all like, I think around like 20, 25. 25. Okay. Like so they're going to be a gas card, a dunks card, and the other one. Do you Visa? get to choose which one you're going for? Yes. Okay. Because like, I don't have a car. And I mean, I have a lawnmower if I needed a gas card. Uh-huh. But that's not very useful. you could go for the Visa card. But is it pre-activated? Well, I mean, we'll have to talk about that at our next meeting, but... Oh, because then you'll have to... The person will have to pay six bucks to activate it, huh? Yeah. That's interesting. We'll probably pre-activate it, because we have, like, $1,200 in our budget, apparently. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like, 600 of that was given to you. Shut up. <laughs> it was like 400. It was 600. It was like 500 maybe. Okay, so it's like we got off course. Just a bit. What were we talking about? Starbucks. How was, how was your... It wasn't bad. I got him a c- iced caramel macchiato. I like Dunk's iced caramel coffee better, but... Well, that's not what that was. There wasn't coffee. There was no coffee in there. It was interesting. It was interesting. It wasn't yeah. bad. Yeah, that's what I used to get. Um, how was your... That's what I normally get. How was your froth? Oh, it wasn't very good. I tried the pumpkin spice latte. See what all the hype was about. Not very good. And then I bought this. This pu- Starbucks he... pumpkin spice grounds. Okay. Why would Not you buy great. that if you didn't? Well, because there's a difference between um, coffee and lattes. Big difference. And they both were bad. They were both bad. I think it's the it's like the Starbucks pumpkin flavor. It's bad. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Besides everyone who likes it. Not a bad place. I mean, I'll stick to Dunks. Yeah, I think so too. I put like thirty bucks on my card, and then I spent like twenty. Hmm. Uh, I got Mary Alley and Aiden stuff, but now I have a free That's beverage because nice reward points. Yeah. Well, Aiden, yeah, Aiden's been driving me, so just trying to be a gentleman. Okay, next topic: Fight Club. Fight Club. Fight Club. Our school, boy, oh boy. Have yeah. you seen it in the papers? Quite the fight club. We made the front page. Don't want to brag, Eagle though. The Eagle Tribune. <laughs> the Eagle Tribune. Which only covers the south of New Hampshire. Uh, so. Two whole counties, Bailey. Ooh. Yeah, that's not to sneeze at. So, what's Two of on? New Hampshire's five counties. <laughs> yeah. 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 People are throwing hands. People are. I mean, to, like, our school is filled with trash, so no one should be surprised that that trash is hitting each other. 
and throwing coffee at each other. All right, she didn't throw the coffee at her. She threw it on the ground. If you look at the video, she did throw it on the ground. Like, she threw it, like, behind her. Okay, well, coffee was wasted. Coffee was wasted, but it was cheap um, school coffee, I think, so. I don't think so, because she was coming from the... Yeah, but it happened, like, late in the thing, and also it was, like, an unmarked cup, so maybe she made it at home. Maybe. It looked weird for that, though. Also, she drinks her coffee black. What a badass. <laughs> well, she lost. Yeah. <laughs> um. <sighs> yeah, just a lot of angry little little people. Yeah. Did you find out what happened with that freshman? Mm, Where no. he was like, he just exploded. No idea. There was another freshman fight, but it was. There was about to be a freshman fight at um in my lunch, like right next to my table. Oh. That was fun. And it didn't. Happen. Yeah, this like obese chick <laughs> was like next to this. Like, I think he had something, probably, like, mid-functioning autism. I don't know. Maybe. But he was like, come on, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go to this kid that was just sitting down eating his lunch. And then he's like, I really don't want to go. Can you please leave me alone? And then this girl's like, and, like, eventually this, this kid just, the autistic kid, like, kept screaming at this kid that was eating. Obviously, I don't know the full situation, I just... So, and he's like, you know what? Fuck off. Get away from me. <laughs> and then this girl, this like 300 pound chick, who's like maybe five, t- like shorter than you. These are all freshmen. These are all freshmen. Go, why don't you fucking fight me? <laughs> like super light. And she was like throwing up her hands. And he's like, uh-huh. back off. And he just like, he didn't get up. And then she's like, oh, whatever. And she turned Good around. Good for him. If she was a BuzzFeed writer, boy, oh boy. <laughs> She would be writing about how she was harassed. She was harassed. I mean, I'm harassing... It's not harassing her if I just, like, describe her as obese, right? I'm not making any comment about that. Mm -hmm. I'm a lazy fat fuck. Fight me. I'm not that short. Yeah, that's why I was saying, like, for your reference. Because, like, everyone looks pretty much the same in height to me. Like, I see you as the you same just height look as me. down on everybody? Well, no, because, like, there's, like, Charbel and then there's Anthony. That's all I see. It's, like, most people are, like, my height. Okay. As I see it. Like, because I see, like, the tops of people's heads so I'm, that are, like, eye level with me. So I'm, like, okay, well, there you go. So we're, like, pretty much the same height. Okay. Even though I know that's not how the world works. It sounds like you're very much, um, oh. The, I'm, I'm the Will guy. Ferrell character in Elf. No, the guy we learned about yesterday who was like animals Bill, Bill, are Bill, by their Bill, size. Bill, Bill Nye, the is... science guy. Uh, Aristotle. Yeah, you're real. That Aristotle, guy. don't call me Aristotle. Also, he discovered dolphins. Fun fact. I love dolphins, except they sucked last week. And last week. Was <laughs> He's talking about the ago. football team, even though no one listening to this podcast. I can, like, look at the list of all our listeners. None of them know about football. Someone has to know about football. Really think about it for a second. I'm sure Jess knows about football. Okay, I was going to say list them in your head, but, you know, honestly, yes, I forgot Jess watches. Listens. Yes. <laughs> watches. Okay. So, I think we've run that. Okay, so there was a big article, Eagle Tribune, saying there's a fight club. People are suing. People are charging for assault. <laughs> it's a whole thing. There's... Yeah, charges. I missed the first one. I was there. I got a front row seat for he the got first a fr- one. I'm so pissed that you got a front row seat. My class was, like, right across from where it was, and I come down, like, just straight from the stairs, and I turned around because yeah. some guy was like, oh, shit, and then... I heard the oh, shit, because yeah. I was walking, like, and then the crowd started forming, So yeah. and I was, like, behind the crowd. I turned around, and I was like, what's going on? Oh, might as well be part of the circle. And Norma J, bringing back Norma J. Oh, she my God, bro- Norma she, J. She fucking brought she it, charged. man. She charged. She charged out. She was like, knock it off. Knock it and off. And then they kept fighting. And she got in the middle. She got in the middle. She got in the middle. And you know what? She, I mean, she didn't do anything, but. It, it was more a spirit thing. Yeah. But also, that pumped them up even more because they're like, yeah, teachers can't do any anything yeah. to us. Yeah. And then the officer just picked the, one of them up. And Norma, really Norma was kind of just like. Mm. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about. Let, how about we start our timeline? The fight that we just talked about 
was between two gals. It's usually between two gals. See, it was a yeah. sophomore and a junior or senior. Junior. I, I think, think she's a junior. Yeah. Um, are we gonna list names? Nah. No, let's not list names. You know what? Let's list names. It's uh. How about first names? Okay. Okay, so that was between Olivia and Sam. Let's see. And then, so a friend of ours was trying to break it up. This friend knows who she is. It, she's probably not listening, but probably uh, not. I assume the other friend this is in our bio will probably talk to her about it or something. I think Cotton. You <laughs> are <laughs> such a dumbass. I think I think Kayla. Katie. Oh my god. <laughs> That's another <laughs> <That's right. laughs> Fiddle it. Fiddle it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, my partner here is incompetent. Alright, well I mean Oh my god. <laughs> I was talking about the junior or the yeah, the junior, Katiana. Oh my god. Katiana. She's in Mackenzie's Net Sports. You're not helping right now. <laughs> you have to understand Katiana. you're not helping. What are you talking no, about? No, we are aren't oh. <laughs> What are you talking about? Bailey, you're trying to pick up the pieces of this <laughs> this vase that you've smashed on the ground. Her name is Katiana. <laughs> whatever. Okay, so whatever, there's a video of it. We don't need to mention her name. So a friend of ours, uh, shout out to you, you know who you are, Bailey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry. She she was trying to break up the fight. And I mean good for her. Rightfully no one else so. Was doing anything. Yeah, I mean, you know, she she's a righteous warrior, you know. Just like Norm- well, and Norma. Norma Jay is a righteous warrior. <laughs> she she um. She might have done it in the wrong way. She came from the back, so she couldn't really get into the middle because they were on the floor. I guess so. She tried pulling her back, but Pull, pulling the back, pulling she pulled pulling back, back, back is a bad side. idea because that makes it one sided. And it yeah it leaves her open to punches. To, to getting punched. Um. So this the spirit was right. Execution was a bit rough. Much like um communism. Sure. Well, always tie it back to communism. Of course. And Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe these fights are happening because it's like someone poisoned the punch. Ooh. The punch that everyone has been drinking. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, second fight the was... second fight was a direct product of that fight because one, one girl, the Sophia... Friend. We're getting... Well, oh. let's, let's talk about that. Okay. She was just trying to start shit because she has nothing better to do. Uh, yes, I'm biased. I don't care. Her mom once screamed at me uh, in the middle of Hoxie's, and she didn't know who I was. She thought I was uh, Nikki, this kid, because, like, oh, fat white kid. She's never seen him before, so it must be me. <laughs> oh, my God. She, What'd like, she scream at you about? Dude, I can't even fuck. Oh, wait. No, I do remember because Nikki had called Sophia a gorilla and was going to fight <laughs> her brother, which, fine. Whatever, oh, I don't Nikki. care. Does Nikki still go to our school? Yeah. Really? He, he was on the football team. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh? Yeah. Is that factual? Yeah. Is that even possible? Really? Y- yeah, he talked to the, the football team about it. Oh. Isn't that interesting? That's kind of strange. Yeah, I know. Well. Be thankful for what you have. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, See, we don't get this in normal conversation. There's something here. If you say so. Mm. Senpai. No. (laughs) Now you're just doing it because it annoys me. (laughs) I hate that so much. And then there was like five other fights, and they were completely unrelated. Well, they only happened yeah. because everyone was talking about a fight. So everyone okay, well, we didn't talk about fight. that full fight. Oh, so I'm the so Sophia sorry. girl was was starting shit, and then this other girl Riley, who's a friend of, of the our friend. The, of our friend, but we are not considered friends of friends. Disagree. We're not what? We're not friends of friends with Riley. No. We technically are, but no. I don't have anything like problem with Riley. Oh yeah, I have an Amazon package coming in today. Forgot about that. Yay. Sorry, that was just a little fun thing. Um, is there a blink? So yeah, in they there? fought because. Yes or not? Oh, whatever, huh? Nothing. Is it a blanket? Just keep talking. 
It's a phone case. Just, you knew this. Just keep going. Okay. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. Shut me down. <clears throat> I didn't hear you. What? I'm sorry. It's a passive aggressive piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, then there's a ton of fights. An article got written. <laughs> yes, it did. With videos from the YouTube channel. With videos. Well, pictures, no, I don't. There was, yeah, there was pictures, but it was so stupid. And then some freshman made an SHS fights who who should fight next. Yeah. The Jesus name Christ. of the channel is like SHS fights fights. Yeah. It's really stupid. But I got taken down. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Fine. Um, it's such a freshman thing to but do. But all the fights after that, really, they kind of sucked. So. I Okay, so. Some of them didn't even happen at the school. Yeah, some of them happened outside of the school. One of them shouldn't be considered a fight. Which one? The one with, uh, Amber. Oh, and her boyfriend. Yeah, I don't know if it was a boy. yeah. I, I mean... That wasn't I, really a fight. He shouldn't have thrown her on the ground, but, like... She, she should have... And, and an arm lock would have looked a lot better than a headlock. She should have stopped, pretty. though, after, like, she, yeah. he pulled off, and she shouldn't have gone again. Yeah. They but, were both at fault. They were both at fault, but it, the fault wasn't, like, a direct fight. Also, the best fight, it, like, it peaked at the beginning. Like, mm-hmm. let's be honest, the first fight was so much better than every other fight. It was really good. It was, like, a legit it, Full Facebook on, fight. like, like there was blood. Yeah. There was a bloody nose. It was on the floor. It was off the floor. There were everything. There were, like, these long-ass arm swings. Yeah, like, because they, like, at least one of them was a lanky gal. Yeah. It's trying to, like, uh-huh. And there's their scratching. great. I'm so glad I got to witness that. Uh, I wish I saw that live. It really completes, like, that's, like, like the physical sp- experience. Yeah, physical fights don't stress me out. Like, sitting in between two people fighting, like, passive-aggressively does. Mm-hmm. Like, if you started, like, passive-aggressively talking to Amy and, like, you know, like oh, whatever the fuck. Uh, and Amy's like, what? You have a problem? Like, and you're, like, legit? I would feel, like, uncomfortable. <laughs> that's one of the things that can make me feel uncomfortable. All and right. there's not much. So me and Amy are going to get into a fight on Monday. <laughs> yeah. I'm just if it gets physical, then I can cheer for it. Okay. It won't get physical. Amy's not a physical person, I don't think. Scar. There's a scar on my finger from Amy. I don't <laughs> want to hear it. She's a very protective of her phone. Okay, getting back on topic. So that you want to talk anything more about Fight Club? I think we pretty much got it. Yeah, I think oh, it wait, pretty what much do you, What do you think the administration should do? Um, can they do anything? So, like, I, and, I, yeah. so I was talking to Mies Padres. Yes, and you know my mom hard hard gal from <laughs> revere 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 and um she was like you know back in my day they <laughs> she was like they never involved cops in these fighting things so i don't i don't think well now it qualifies as bullying which they always got to get the cops involved with that i guess so i think I don't kind of think bullshit, charges yeah. should happen, especially not to, like, Riley. They're, they're just them. kids. Yeah. Also, how do you feel about the three-punch rule? It's so stupid. It's stupid. It's I, so I stupid. would have to agree with that. So, yeah. if you don't go to high school, or yeah, if you, even if you, just, like a universal if you just don't know, yeah. if I was to get into a fight with Cole Bias here, Ugh. I could punch him in his face twice, and if he hit me, he would be just as guilty as me. Yeah. But if I hit him a third time, then he's all set. As long as he doesn't continue once I'm, like, down. Yeah. As long as, like, he's not on the ground and I'm kicking his face in. Yeah. But, I mean, even if, like, we were both on the ground, ah, it's so stupid. And they're supposed to run away and find the resource officer. If someone throws you against the wall and starts kicking you, you're not going to go find a teacher or someone. Yeah, I'm going to defend myself. Yeah. It's so stupid. And it's not even a reputation thing. I don't care about reputation. It's just someone's kicking me. I'm someone, gonna yeah, someone's kicking me. I'm gonna kick fight back. back. Yeah. So I think they need to revise. Well, I'm that. the way I fight. I'm more just like block. You're like it's like a inst- real Floyd Mayweather. Not like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he's fifty and zero for a reason. Even though I was Team McGregor. <laughs> McGregor. Um. Good little Irish lad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well... Rip Fight Club, it's pretty much over. Yeah, I think it is. I hope we get a revival sometime soon. <gasps> Ooh, speaking of Fight Club, that was, like, the school's big thing. 
Before yes. that, it was a bomber Nazi kid. Oh, yeah. I saw a bomber Nazi kid at that table I sit at in the morning, and it was bad. He yeah. went up to your favorite person, who I sit with at that table. Mm-hmm. <coughs> and this person had donuts and was complaining how the school forced her to stay at home because she had the stomach bug the day before. Oh, my God. And Just the day before. So she still came in and... Had probably the stomach bug. Oh, my God. And so the kid, bomber kid, walked over and was all like, can I have a munchkin? <laughs> and <laughs> she was like, she didn't want to talk to this person. Rightfully so. Yeah. And she was like, um, I mean, Nazi should be shunned. You can take the right, or you can take the risk. <laughs> you have the stomach flu. And then I think he got very defensive, and he backed off, and he was all like, why are you at school? And in my mind, he was planning to shoot school this person i'm okay with that I said the name i'm not actually okay with that but for comedy's sake i'm okay with that i don't actually want people that i vaguely dislike to um perish to perish by the gun of a of a hitler's youth you know what i'm saying honestly this podcast could get us killed yeah I and mean, we talk so much shit it's like our number one pastime <laughs> And I'm I talk shit and then like I try to not have names said even though it's like a pussy move, and then Bailey immediately goes for the kill by saying their name, <laughs> by accident or on purpose. Listen, that person goes to school at Pinkerton and they're in Mackenzie's Net Sports and yeah. Pinkerton, what? Like they have a class at Pinkerton. Oh, cosmetology. I don't know. <laughs> There's only a couple classes there. Okay, so uh, we good with Fight Club? Bulk buying. Bulk buying. That would I've be been you. doing this a lot recently. Yeah, let's have a little debate here. Okay. Bulk buying. Uh, so I, I recently came across some cash from my grandma's estate, and instead of buying an iPad Pro, which I was going to do before, Bailey put those down. Nothing gonna happen. It's fine. Okay, Bailey has taken out some buzz magnets, and I swear to God, if I hear those on the podcast, I'm throwing the mic at you. It's fine. Just I'm gonna toss that mic through your bedroom window like a like a brick. It's fine. After I egg your house for not giving me Kit Kats. You can have Kit Kats. <laughs> this spooky sound is back. Bailey, put them away. <laughs> no. Uh, as soon as I'm like, <laughs> yeah, debate, then you have to go like, nope. Sorry, sorry. B- okay. Debate. Um, <laughs> that's what I said. The food sounds back. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> um, I think bulk buying is stupid. I think it's a waste. Why? Because, like, you don't need so much of something. You're right. Um, about that I don't need it. But, okay, so... Uh, with this money, instead of getting an iPad Pro, I decided to buy a lot of stuff. Um, which, good or bad. How I much don't money know. did you spend on tea? Why don't you, on why tea? Don't you tell them? Um, Specifically at that one store. At Tivana. See. Sponsor us, Tivana. Just kidding. Huh? You're running closing. out of business, yeah. <laughs> um, I spent. Okay, so on physical tea, I spent 100 20 but that's because they're closing so that, that has to last me a lifetime you can get tea from other places not that specific blend you can go to starbucks headquarters and ask for tea vomit tea no because it's also a blend it's not like a spe- so they sell youth berry oh my god turn it off <laughs> <laughs> she comes closer to the top. <laughs> she's oh my <laughs> The Return. <laughs> this is a great podcast. I'd rank this in our top four podcasts. <laughs> of the four that we've done. Top three, even. And this might be number two. I'd say it goes two, this one, number four, and then one, and then three. Three was just a three cluster was garbage. Fuck. Three was I tried to, to make it okay, but I just couldn't. Was that the one like we restarted, but... It was but then just we as didn't, bad. and so I ended up stitching them together. Well, that was a cat, but it was a human. It was, was Piper. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the cat like got sucked in the back. <laughs> oh, that's some Tom and Jerry shit. Okay, what we were talking about? I'm sorry, I got completely sad. Okay, bulk, bulk buying. buying. So yeah, I bought this tea, and now razors as well. What else did I bulk buy? So Harry's razors, I've purchased 48. No. 
Yes, 48 razors. Number. 16 of those are going to my dad for his birthday slash Christmas. That's how you get out of um, getting real gifts. You just say, I'd like to buy as many razors as possible. And then I uh, put a little pre-made note card in there. Um, Maybe you just have a shopping. I think you have a shopping problem. I've thought this for many years. Many a year. I'm not sure I would call it a shopping problem. It's um, more like a control problem that sometimes bleeds into shopping. Yeah. Like, if I didn't have a control problem and I wasn't so lazy, I'd probably not be fat. You know? It's just, it's just like, control issues and shit. Like, I used to pee on my carpet when I was, like, in second grade. Because, like, external forces were stressful and shit. External forces. Yeah, that was a rough time. Unless we have, like, a... Second grade? Second grade, yeah. Understand? No. Oh my god. Were you spelling something? Because if you were. <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why were you. I was just making letters with my hands for fun. Wait. Remake. Uh, how about I text you right now? No. No, I'm not. <laughs> because I re- refuse to check my phone. <laughs> oh. I was thinking of something else. Oh, yeah. That was third grade. I thought you meant... No, no, I thought you meant another resident of this house. Hmm? (laughs) Never mind. Yeah. Oh, no, that was a first grade occurrence. Oh. I'm bad with, like, ages. And And she was still, like, a baby by then, so no problem there. (laughs) There you go. It's fine. I'll talk shit about her on my podcast. (laughs) An hour podcast. Anyway, instead of confusing people. Okay, so, and then I've just bought, I was going to buy candles in bulk, but then I I decided, you know what, I'm going to be brave, and I'm not going to. So I only bought four candles instead of eight. (laughs) You poor thing. (sighs) Okay. He has a wick cutter. It's called a wick trimmer, and it's necessary. It's not. Yes, it is, because if it doesn't, it borrows down. Ask anyone. Also, it only costs like. I will start one of those stupid Instagram polls and say, "Do you know what a wick trimmer is?" Well, that's because I'm not a fucking noob. At candles. You fucking normie. Okay, bulk buying. I'm almost in favor of bulk buying. Like I buy a lot of my things in bulk. I buy my K cups in bulk because it's a lot cheaper. Gum. I can get behind buying gum in bulk. Buying gum in bulk because it averages out to like forty cents that's a pack instead it. of a dollar. Uh, I buy my coffee cups in bulk because I don't drink coffee, so it doesn't because really it's like three dollars for twelve, or it's like ten dollars for like sixty. So it's pretty useful. Don't want to brag. I'm glad you found a system. So you like bulk buying? Yep. I don't. I'm not like against bulk buying. I, I mean, you started off out the gate by saying the exact phrase "I'm against bulk buying" Did I? because. Oh. I just think it's like a waste. Okay. But if you want to bulk buy. It looks like we're about to take a mid episode break for Bailey's little segment while I go to the bathroom. Yeah. Edit. Oh, it wasn't edit. No, it's not an edit. Okay, it's just a shimmy time? Yeah, it's just a shimmy time. Sitting in the other chair. Hmm. What can we talk about today? Different types of spaghetti and why they're good and bad. So there's rigatoni and the, you got your classic like spaghetti, which is like the noodles, I think. And then there's like shells. I think shells is the best type of spaghetti because it's like, you know. Or wait, pasta. It's all pasta. Pasta's kind of gross as a whole, though. Honestly, if you're going to have pasta, I would go with, like, lasagna or something like that. Speaking of lasagna, Garfield really likes lasagna. And I saw this cat when I was walking home one day, and it looked like Garfield. 
And so I was like, come here, Garfield. And I was like, you know, like I wanted to see this cat. And that like ran away from me. And I think it's the neighborhood stray. So that's cool. But I couldn't save it. And also, speaking of not saving animals, my parents <laughs> went to the cemetery and there were these dogs tied together. They were like running all around and stuff. And then, um, yeah, they like got lost and then they were chasing them. And then they called in like this lady we know who's like rescue lady animal. They were all like running around. And yeah, it was just a whole big thing. And then, you know, the dogs were safe. The rescue lady ended up with a bunch of scratches all over her leg and she was like cut up but it's okay and they found their owners and it was a happy story so be like garfield like lasagna <laughs> and save animals when they get lost i don't know what just happened but i like it okay welcome back Thank you, kind sir. That one was kind of a mess. That was a bit of a mess. The beginning was, I found my point at the end. I'm glad to hear. Okay, so we're about to talk about Stranger Things Season 2. And Bailey, because he didn't watch Stranger Things Season 1, I at did. least all the way through. I watched like, two episodes. He watched one quarter of Stranger Things Season 1. He's going to talk about House of Cards. It's just not as good a show as everyone says. Well, you have to kind of go through... Okay, I guess if the first two episodes didn't intrigue you, then you're not the kind of guy that's going to want to watch it. Yeah. So that's okay. You know what? Live your life, Bailey. I will. Um, I love Sean Astin so much. Oh, Mr. Frodo. Oh, Mr. Frodo. That's my Samwise Gamgee impression. I got that. Um, okay. So why don't, you, why don't you start off? House of Cards. Okay. You have nothing to say about this <laughs> show that you've spent 13 times. How many episodes in season two are you through? 10. Okay, so 23 hours you've spent watching. No, because... Okay, multiply 23 by, like, 16 hours. Let's let's be general on that. So you've spent 16 hours watching the show and you have it's nothing to say about it. It's just a good show. It's just a good show? It's just a good show. Do you show. have any theories? I mean, for the seasons that have already aired, I think he's gonna become president. I think that's kind of like a. Yeah, I think that's that's what like he's season going towards. Four, maybe. Um. My guess is that all of season three is him running for president. I feel like his wife might die. I don't think they're gonna kill off. Oh, maybe because she was in Wonder Woman. Maybe. So they might, and like they did the same thing with Zoe. Rip. I don't care about spoilers. <laughs> um. I haven't spoilers seen it, so from it's many fine. years ago. Yeah, I guess spoilers for all this. Um, yeah, but I mean, I don't really have anything to say. It's just kind of skip. Like, I don't know. You you can do what you want. Um, do you have more so elaborate thoughts Stranger on Stranger things. things? It's really good. I would say that the first season is better, and they kind of fall back on their tropes. Um, with so I'm on the last episode of season two. I've been watching it all night. I went to bed at 11, and I thought it was, like, 8. It was real weird. Oh. And I woke up at 9. Oh I went boy. to bed at 3, and I also woke up at 9. Look at this fucking party animal, guys. I was with my cat, who is an animal, <laughs> and we were having a party, I guess. I had a crisis last night. Oh. My cat jumped on my shoulder and then went down my back, and I couldn't get her off of me. And when I stood up, she dug her, her um, claws <laughs> right into my neck. So, like, what was I to do? I couldn't, like, just let her off, because then she'd be hanging her claws into my neck. <laughs> you could, like... And then I tried to, I'm, like... Run I'd... backwards into it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> what cat was this? This was Goofy, so <laughs> she's, like, she's not gonna withstand that. She'll be dead. <laughs> so, I tried... I did her. this. I, like, angel fell onto my bed with my cat on my back. Why? She wouldn't get off. <laughs> Why was she latched onto you? I don't know. But she's, she's like you're warm. Ha. <laughs> so, did you just go to bed with this cat around your neck? No, she eventually got off, but it took like 15 minutes. <laughs> That's a strange occurrence. I know. I was not a fan of it. Just like Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to never mention anything you say in your Bailey segments. Okay. okay. 
sorry, like sorry. around me. So sorry. Because I want that to be a thing that I only hear when I'm editing this. Okay. Or I just don't listen to it entirely. You'll never know. I kind of would like to know. Or I kind of would like not to know. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, okay, yep. Um, so my thing with season two is I know what's going to happen five minutes before it happens. And I'm not like a smart guy. It's just easy to predict. I think I, maybe it's because I've seen a lot of 80s movies. It's very <laughs> predictable. Mm. And, I mean, they're mm, then they're falling back on the... If there is a Stranger Things season three, which I'm not Wait, sure there will be. Why not? It seemed pretty popular. It is, but it was such like a lightning in a bottle thing that they kind of captured twice. Mm -hmm. Like, watching this, it made me feel worse about the first season because they retroactively do some stuff that's like, now there's like 50 demigor demigorgons. Okay. That was the thing with the face. But, and they're like, whatever, they're like demi gods or the thing no, that killed demi barb dogs. yes barb oh my god there's this really sad thing at the beginning of the season that they just completely ignore for the rest of it and it's barb's parents thinking she's still alive and they they sell their house to pay for a pi that they're paying for oh my god it's so sad and then nancy miss pointy face because no one talked about barb everyone talked about barb everyone online everyone online no and one in that show cared about barb yeah, and then they go back and they're like, we need to tell them about Barb. And they have a recording and it's a whole thing and uh, whatever. And then, uh -huh. what's their face? Nancy and um, Will's brother. That's Finn Wolfhard's brother. And Will's brother is the, the kid that, mm -hmm. the guy that got arrested for cocaine mm -hmm. possession. Okay. Or deported for cocaine possession. And he'll probably get tried uh -huh. in, in England, I think he's from. So sad. No. No, it's not. I mean, if you want to do cocaine, do cocaine. Yeah, just don't bring it to an airport. It's fucking stupid. That's true. Was he... Or smuggle it up your did ass. Did he have it, or was he, like, on it? I think he had it. Because oh. they can't, like... Unless they give you a drug test, and he's a foreign national, so they can't do that. Well. Um. Okay, yeah, I guess don't carry cocaine to airports. Yeah. This is just stupid. It's pretty, yeah. It's but yeah, him and Nancy fucked. Oh. Or maybe they didn't, but they definitely did. They did, yeah. Because they shared a bed, like, after making out. Same with Archie and Veronica. I want that to happen. Is, are you giving me spoiler alert for season that two? That did happen, yeah. Have you not watched season two? Oh. Season two? No, I haven't mm -hmm. seen any of the episodes. Mm -hmm. No, that happened in season one. No, they never did. Oh, they didn't fully go? No. They just, like, made out a bit? No. Because yeah. it was the first episode with the closet. Yeah. Diddle. And, um... Yeah, like, it was extremely heavily hinted, and they kind of did a thing where, like, they lied to Jughead. So, basically... Why? Why, why would they... Why? What happened was, um, they were, like, sleeping in the same bed, but we later found out nothing happened. And then, like, they were both kind of undressed, but not really. They were like TV movie after sex undressed. Oh, okay. And so Jughead comes home and he sees them and he, Veronica like looks and laughs and she like starts to talk and then he's like, I won't say anything. And she just nods and walks out. So she doesn't say anything. And then Archie basically does the same thing. That's and stupid. Jughead's like, you know, good job or whatever, something like that. <laughs> and Ar yeah, bro. <laughs> and Archie's just kind of like. Did I share that nods. picture of you? Not of you, with you. With me. I'm about mm -hmm. to show you the best picture you've ever seen. I'm kind of scared, but yeah. So no it's uh, it's Riverdale related. It's what? It's Riverdale related. Oh, okay. My mouth stopped working. I'm 3D touching on it. Lollipop, lollipop, lolly. Who's the biggest daddy in Riverdale? And then I've scribbled over it in red uh, text, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> biggest daddy in Riverdale. Did you see the Snapchat story of the old guy who was like the photographer? And he's like, no. He was taking like, these naked pictures, and he was like oh, super a fat creepy. Woman? Of a fat woman. Yeah, I think it was like all size. Yeah, I think it was fat women. Good for him. I mean, you know what? If you're gonna be creepy, you're gonna be creepy. Hey Bailey, guess who my favorite magician is? 
David, David Copperfield. Copperfield. <laughs> I used to be the president. Bailey, read my lips. No new taxes. And then he implemented more taxes. Are you not a Bush fan? I'm, I mean, he had a really good approval rate. Like, Desert Storm was okay. Uh, even Ooh. though it was built off a lie. What is Trump's approval rate? Uh, I think he's at, like, 30. Is that bad? Like, that sounds bad. Yeah. What was Normally Obama's? it's at, like, 60. Mm-hmm. Like, Obama dipped down to 40, I think. Really? But well, that's because there was Obama. the thanks Obama trend, and Obamacare was a bit of a failure. But Obama's great. Obama was great. He's so cool. We <gasps> Barack, never appreciated I miss you. what we had. Barack, I get you're happy. Hopefully he'll run again. He, you can't. Yeah, you can. Nope, he already went it, two full terms. You can't. Yeah, it's not like sure. Grover Cleveland where he served one term and then another You're president sure. served. Um, sure, I had to read the Constitution. Um, well, when I become a Supreme Court justice... Nope, it's not you. The legislator has to make an amendment. When I become a Supreme Court justice... justice James. I will change that law. That's actually not how that works. Well, guess what? Uh, Boom, the I legislator. Well, I don't really care about them. Um, I'm going to become the chief Supreme Court justice. This is not a boy that knows anything about his own government and, and checks and balances. I'm going to win. Everything. Nope. So let me explain to you how an amendment works. Um, I say it and it happens. Nope. Because... Amendments are not subject to judiciary approval. But I'm the chief justice, so I have, like, all the power. Nope. Yeah. Nope. You just uphold the Constitution. And make changes. So, nope. That's the president and the legislator. There has to be a two-thirds uh, vote to make an amendment. Are you sure about that? I'm very sure. I'm in an AP class. I'm in a year-long class in which... That's uh, a year-long? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, the AP test, is, some courses, like, with the same curriculum run two years. Oh, yeah, Devin's teacher class is like that. Ooh, sorry, Devin. <laughs> um, Andy? Andy. Andy, yeah. okay. Andy Mack have been well, Gay Cyrus. Well, now given her, uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. Well, no. Gay Cyrus, that's... I, I had said, oh, that kid's gay, right? And, like, in the previous season... And then, I, and then they were like, no, he's not gay. Why would you say he's gay? Who's I was like, gay? He's uh, um, my mom and Piper. Oh. Um, All I know is hashtag gay Cyrus was trending, and the whole like cover thing was Andy Mack. And I was like, Andy Mack is trending. And then, because it was like super clear. Oh. It's super clear. I from like the five that. minutes that I saw. I only saw that one party episode. Not even all of it. Two seconds. Yeah. I haven't watched a full episode, but I still knew that he was gay, you know what I'm saying? And they denied it? Doesn't your mom, like, love gay people, though? I don't know. What do you think I'm doing with my fingers right now? I have no idea what you're doing with your fingers. Bailey. Oh. (laughs) (sighs) I knew that. I was just, you know, wanted you to get a finger exercise. Yeah, okay. Um, (laughs) Um. Jesus Christ, Bailey. What a delight you are. So, yeah, I knew that he was gay. He wasn't very nuanced, the actor, I mean. But still tricked my mom and Piper. Um, <laughs> and I knew, because I'm a closeted homosexual, and I know every gay person. I, I know it. All the gays. <gasps> there. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Segway. Okay. So rebellion. this is where we go off the rails. Yeah. This is gonna be a Pretty long much. episode. We're making up for it because we're already at one sixteen, and we normally keep it around you know, one twenty. You guys enjoy this. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry about that. <laughs> <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about Rebel Day. Talk about Rebel Day. So Rebel Day is a Spanish soap opera. And he's not saying Rebel Day. He's saying Rebel Day. Rebel Day. It means rebel. <laughs> so. Um, Rebel Day is a Spanish soap opera that ran for, like, a lot of episodes, like, 300 or 400 episodes. We're watching, like, 120 of them this year. Oh, my God. <laughs> and we watch it on Fridays in Spanish. And in this episode, the, like, resident, like, playboy or whatever. Playboy. He, like, <laughs> he, um, 
he is pretending to be like dating this girl so his dad like doesn't flip out on him for being in a secret band or something like that okay <laughs> and the girl goes up to the dad because they hate each other the girl and the boy and she's all like is it true that diego had the mumps when he was a kid because and then she's like because i heard that can affect your testicles and she was like he hasn't been performing well and he was the dad was like stop 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 so then the dad goes to the mom who's basically like melania trump like the age difference he goes to the mom and he's like our son is gay now i need to cure him (laughs) and so that's how we ended the episode with the dad like shouting he turned gay and Kaho <laughs> just started laughing so loud. I I'm love glad to know you're wasting your time. This is what my Last tax week, dollars are. There going was a to. boxing match for ten minutes. Like these two girls and it wasn't like provoked at all. It just happened. It just happened. It was a cold open and there was like a wrestling ring in the middle of the field and they got in there in like boxing gear and they just went at it for ten freaking okay, minutes. Bailey, I'm about to the since Lord we're on our Bell Bell. Our talking shit segment. You can watch Rebelde on Netflix season two through I'm four. Not going to. Okay, let me tell you something, Bailey. I'm about to talk some shit. Okay. Are we on talking? Yeah. Okay. And this is about not quite millennials, not the podcast, but the age. Oh. There, one of my friends posted on Instagram mm-hmm. that like you didn't teach us this or whatever about, I think it was about, um, your math teacher. Mm-hmm. This is now the symbol for your math teacher. Okay. Like flashing. Okay. Okay. So are we talking about the teacher or the girl? The teacher. Okay. Um, they were like, you didn't teach us this, you, and like, you fucking fuck or whatever. I think that's an actual comment. I'm about to pull it up. No, not to, aw, but he's so nice. I'm about to put, like... He's honestly, like, a bear. A skinny, awkward bear. She packed my bags last night, pre flyy no, I'm just gonna go into my followers. So that should be easier. I really care about you, and I worry about you. It's like, he's so nice. He's so nice. And then they just straight up fucking... <sighs> they talk shit about him? Oh. So we're talking shit about shit talkers? <gasps> Yes, oh. I know. Who Who's the real good person here? Uh, Mr. Mm. You're a silly boy. <laughs> the math teacher. Yep. Where is she? Oh, I know the name of it, so this should be easy. Do, do, did that lady lady win Jeopardy again? Uh, for, I don't know. I was at the game. Oh. Okay, so it's like a question, and then if you read it. I don't know because you never fucking taught me this, you dumb fuck. <laughs> and then. Who is this? Honestly. And like, she this wrote whole thing. That? Yes. I, she erased it because she's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> See, it makes sense when I'm talking about a guy because he'd be a little bitch baby. But then when I'm referring to a lady, it just sounds, it just sounds like I'm a sexist pig. I'm okay with that. Okay. Like, if you read this whole thing, it's just so much entitlement. Like, everything about... There's so much entitlement oh. there. Oh, not the Russian. It's, like, so disgusting. Like, I hate that. Like, and they did it with our 8th grade English teacher, too, which was more justified. State Ireland. <laughs> oh, come on. He's, they're making him sound like a terrible person. He's so sweet. But, like, just can you smell the entitlement? <laughs> oh, he does his show as grown-ups. Uh, I mean, I complain a lot, but I still do the stuff. I don't complain about him. It's just so fucking stupid. And I wanted to talk to her about it, but we haven't really been talking, like, all that much So I don't to talk to her about, like, that would be, like... That would be just, like, ruinous. Yeah. Okay. So, like... <sighs> hmm. Honestly, if you're a math teacher who 
lived in England for a little bit, you lived in California for a little bit, you were in the army and you built planes. You know what? Good for he, you. He's a veteran. Yeah, I guess so. And they're talking shit about him. Fuck them. <laughs> he's Four so, children. He, he's a dad, he's a veteran, an all around good guy. He goes to the football for games. Kid. Goes to football games. And then they're like, he's fucking fuck. And I was gonna talk to to. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, you got that. Mm-hmm. But then I was like, oh no! But then she'll talk to her about it, and then. Because it's just a line. Yeah. Of people. It's just a line of people, and like, I don't want to be a dick, but come on. Come on. Like they're just in their little echo chambers of their friends. <laughs> Like, and none of them are saying, you know what, that's actually super entitled. But I'm not, I can't always be that guy, because then I'm the dick. You can't be the reality check? I can't be the reality check all the time. Because then, then I'm just being an asshole. Like, so sometimes I have to put up with that, and I think this is just one of those times. Where I'm going to air my grievances on a podcast with them, and it's eventually going to get back to them. Oh. And then... And then up men, I assume we won't talk for a while. Oh. Like, I'm okay with that. Oh. At this point. I hate that so much. I don't hate her, but I hate the thing that she said so much. Like, come on. He was in the army. Disrespecting our troops. He gave homework to watch Stranger Things. Oh my god. Okay, I'm done with talking shit. Matt Kerr's hamsters. That's right, I've said his full name. <laughs> Serial killer. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. I've been saying it since sixth grade, since I've heard about this hamster. He killed one hamster. Ten hamsters. One hamster Ten he, hamsters. He killed one. Nine hamsters happened to die. Under happened his to die by his hands. Supervision. That's too many to be a coincidence. Three is too many to be a coincidence. <laughs> Do you understand Hamsters me? don't live long. Especially when they're taken care of, in air quotes, by a serial killer. Okay, so, guys, he just bounced a ball, and the hamster was on the ball, <laughs> and it hit the ceiling a little too hard. It, I, wasn't there a ceiling fan involved? I thought there was a fan. I, either way, he killed his okay, hamster sure in a really I'm weird I'm and pr- obviously set up way. No. Yes. You okay, don't just You wanna know the full story. The hamster bounced on the ball and so he was like, Oh, that's cool so he tried to bounce the hamster on the ball. That's yes, he <laughs> killed his hamster is what you're saying. He killed one out of ten. And that's like ten percent. That's only ten percent. If I killed ten percent of humans that would be a problem. Well there's a difference between ten percent of humans and like still a living thing. Like, he didn't, Fine, if I killed ten percent of the cats I saw. No, like he didn't kill ten percent of the world's guinea pig population. Hamster it's population. probably like ten percent of the, the guinea pigs that he's met, if you really think about it. You know what? Honestly, rip that hamster. <laughs> So, what and what, he also, like, die. threw a hamster in a bowl on his head or something? Um, no, he didn't kill another one. Yes, he did, baby. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. How do you only know about this one? Because uh, I talked to him about it yesterday, I think. Yeah, well, clearly he's going to lie. He's a serial killer. He's not a serial killer. Yes, he is. He's okay. just obsessed with Mariah Carey. Classes, not very fun. I actually like my glasses. I am not a fan. And this is like the easy time as well, which sucks. It is the easy time. Oh, no. I know, right? Pre-Cal and English. Next Pre-Cal is going to be easy. Is it's it? A, yeah, it's essentially just algebra too. Oh, really? Good. With more variables and, oh. and formulas and stuff. That's when you actually like need a graphing calculator. Awesome. Um, okay, I think it's time for the finale. Yay, what's the finale? The finale is... Bailey, quick, come up with a sign-off. Bleh. Bleh. Oh, yeah, this is our Halloween spooktacular where we talked all about Halloween. I don't think we have to post it on Halloween now. It's kind of just a... No, but I still want to, like, to move our days to, like... Tuesdays? Tuesdays, yeah. Oh? Maybe I'll continue on Sunday and then we'll switch it up after. You do what you want. Um, yeah, that's about it. We're back bi-weekly now, because... Weekly, we just don't have enough to talk about, my friend. Yeah. But we can do it specials. It might not, yeah. 
It might not even be like a constant thing. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> we're busy, and by that I mean it's hard to find a time when we're both willing to do something. That's very I'm true. usually good, but also there's sometimes, like the last podcast we were going to record, I was just not in it. <laughs> like I was having a bad day. Mm-hmm. I was tired. I was at a robotics thing that was like super hot and humid all day, and I just wasn't in it. So did you ever find out why your grandmother was there? No. Because I haven't talked to her. I think she just went there for fun. That's good. I mean, she was happy. She was walking around. She was looking at the kids in their costumes and stuff. I really thought it was Janine. I said... You said Grandma. No, no, no. You you said Grandma. That's fine. That's not... I said how she had told... I told you how she said, Oh, I just missed you at the house the other day. So you knew she was the one that was at the house the other day. So technically, I gave you context. Little as it may have been. No, but also Janine came over that day. No, I like think right she after did. Y- you left. But that was a different day. No, same day. No, because sh- she came over Saturday. Same day. No. Oh, day. Right, but Janine came over like right after, so I thought she might have been referring to you. Because she could have been. Like, at least acknowledge that she could have been. I mean, okay, this is our big finale. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right, Halloween. Okay, wait, we're going to do a little post mortem. That, that was a Halloween pun. Dissection? A little a dissection of this here uh, podcasting structure that we did. I personally feel like we should keep this maybe a little less topics. Yeah. And also, we should let ourselves go off on a couple tangents. Yeah. Because I think that's where the real meat, the real character of the podcast comes out. And we can't just stick to that because then we're just robots. We're just robots. We're robots. Robits. Roblox. We're just Agaria. I think that is where you stop. I think we are. Okay. Uh, Stay spooky, my friends. <laughs> okay, well, now I gotta come up with one. Stay scary, my friends. Blah. Ah. At a point! Okay, I'll, I'm, 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 I'm happy, happy with that. Podcast. I'm happy with that. Dragon. Oh. That, I'm glad that felt weighted to fall off, huh? Should pack my bags for that pre flight. Zero hour, nine a.m.